Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Cosrx Advanced Nail Mucin Power Essence which helps to hydrate the skin, strengthen the skin barrier, has antioxidant and anti-aging properties and it adds a lightweight breathable protective seal which locks in moisture. Now you can use your essence daily in the morning and or evening. It is suitable for all skin types and it's basically a hydrating product that can be used along any other skincare products. Doesn't matter what you're currently using as long as it fits with your skin type and skin concerns. Now I know there is a bit of confusion going on with the snail secrete as it contains a small amount of glycolic acid but this isn't potent enough to actually exfoliate the skin therefore it is fine to use your snail essence along exfoliating acid cleansers, toners or serums like your AHA, glycolic, lactic or even mandelic acid or BHA, salicylic acid product. And I want to share with you an example morning and evening skincare routine to go over the order of application as well as what a routine can look like, which if you like to, you may want to recreate it at home if it fits with your skin needs. And then we are heading into the application. And as always, you'll find the entire PowerPoint and timestamps in the description box down below. Now let's look into the example morning skincare routine, which you can see right here. Starting off with, first of all, properly washing your face, choosing the right cleanser for your skin type and needs. Then if you like to, you can, use an hydrating and soothing toner then you're moving on to your snail essence and then depending on your skin concerns work with your specific treatment and then lastly your sunscreen if you have sun exposure during the daytime as for the evening skincare routine it can look pretty much the same just without your sunscreen step but i've changed it up a bit i've included an exfoliating acid toner so that you can see the combination just make sure to then use a non-exfoliating acid cleanser if you're planning on using an aha or bha toner or serum then your snail essence your specific treatment that primarily does not conflict or cause irritation with the exfoliant and then your moisturizer at the end if you should feel the need. However, if you have one stubborn sunscreen and or makeup throughout the day, I highly recommend using an oil or balm cleanser on its own to properly break everything down and wash your face or do a double cleanse. Using an oil or balm cleanser at first on dry skin, massage it all over, then rinse it off with water, leave your skin wet and then use your regular water-based cleanser to remove any last traces, residue that you may have missed before then continuing with the rest of your evening skincare routine. What's primarily important with your um, setup of your skincare routine is that you're choosing the right products for your skin type and needs, that you are not going to overuse the product in the sense of using too much product when applying it to the skin and the waiting time. And below the example routines you'll find a general guide to ensure proper layering plus a frequency guide when working with an exfoliant. Now if you want to go over the example morning and evening skincare routine in your own time, you want to know what products that I have picked with a little description next to it for whom it is suitable, what it specifically does, including some general skincare tips like how you can do a patch test, the difference between a damp and wet skin, some layering tips and a sunscreen application and removal guide. It's all in my PowerPoint. You'll find it in the description box down below and you can even download it to your device if you want to recreate it and get that information. But now let's head into the application. Now before you apply Cosrx Namusin Essence to the skin, it is important to wash your face to ensure proper layering. Remember to use lukewarm to warm water as this helps the cleanser to work more effectively, but avoid hot water as this will dry out your skin. And choose the right cleanser for your skin type and needs to properly remove excess oil, dirt, sweat, sunscreen and makeup from the skin as suggested in my PowerPoint. In this example I'm using Beauty of Joseph's Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser which is great for all skin types. It is very hydrating and gentle on the skin. It's a foaming cleanser that I can highly recommend. So let's go ahead and do this. First, wet your face with lukewarm to warm water. Next, squeeze out a small amount of the cleanser. Foam it up between your hands and then evenly massage it all over your face for about 30 seconds. Rinse well using your hands. If you prefer, you can use a soft clean microfiber washcloth as a helper. Wet it with lukewarm to warm water. Squeeze it out so that it's damp and then gently swipe it over your face, focusing on the hairline, around the eyes and the neck to remove the last traces of cleanser, makeup and sunscreen. Then rinse your face again several times, ensuring everything is removed. 
Avoid applying your snail essence to wet skin, as this can dilute the snail secretion and cause improper absorption. This can cause layering issues and a dry and tight feeling. Instead, it's very important to gently pat all over the skin with a clean towel to remove any remaining water droplets from the skin's surface. Now you can immediately move on to the application of your snail essence. However, if you have a hydrating or exfoliating acid toner at home, use that one beforehand. And in this example, I'm using Cosrx AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner to gently exfoliate my skin. To apply the toner, switch three to four times onto the palm of your hand. Rub your hands together to distribute the toner and then evenly blend it over your face and neck, avoiding the eyelids and lips. Now let it absorb into the skin for about one to two minutes and then you can move on to your Cosrx Snail Mucin Power Essence. To apply the Snail Mucin, dispense one to two pumps onto your fingertips. Rub your fingers together to distribute the essence and then evenly blend it over your face and neck, avoiding the eyelids and lips. Now you can stop at this point or follow with your favorite serum as suggested in my PowerPoint, but I'm going to skip on this step. I want to emphasize that there's no need to follow with an additional moisturizer on top of your essence. Your snail essence helps to hydrate the skin, it protects it with a very lightweight and breathable layer and therefore you can use it on its own. But if you want to add more surface hydration to the skin, let your snail essence absorb for one minute, then wrap your favorite moisturizer and apply it on top. And in this example, I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. Squeeze out a bean sized amount onto your fingertip. Rub your fingers together to distribute the moisturizer and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck. Now leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And that's it. If you want to go over the example routines for products that I have picked and so much more, you'll find it in the PowerPoint in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring.